and welcome back to The Comment. The other day, American Express unveiled its transatlantic blockchain-based B2B payment platform. Well, not to be left behind, Visa has just revealed updates on its own new blockchain-based business-to-business commerce platform. Several major global banks from the US, Singapore, the Philippines, and South Korea will be using Visa's new blockchain to make transactions between their institutions easier. For now, the project is focused on Singapore, where the highly active port will act as a perfect test bed for Visa. If you ever needed a copy of your transcript or degree, had to keep track of your student loans, had to figure out how to transfer class credits from one school to another, or even question the accreditation of your teachers or professors, you'll be happy to see blockchain coming into use across educational institutions in Europe. The European Commission is studying how blockchain can, use, can be used in education. Their study presented eight scenarios in which blockchain would make the lives of students, grads, teachers, and professionals much easier. But it acknowledges that the full-scale adoption of the technology is ways off yet. Also in Europe, a European Central Bank governing council member said that central banks and legislators are thinking about whether they should regulate cryptocurrencies. The council member Ivald Novotny is also president of the National Bank of Austria. He told reporters at a conference in Italy, quote, we're asking ourselves if legislators or central banks should intervene, end quote. If they don't regulate crypto, overzealous investors could suffer major losses, but if they do, investors might not have the financial gains they hope for. Novotny's approach is a very, very buyer beware. He said, quote, people investing in products can suffer losses, and if that happens, they simply have to accept it, end quote. That is our comment for the weekend. Join us back here on Monday and every weekday as we catch you up on the latest in Ethereum and blockchain. Have a wonderful weekend, and don't forget to leave a comment. Join me on the comments every weekday as I catch you up on the latest in Ethereum and blockchain. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all the newest episodes of the comment. If you missed our latest episodes, you can catch up all right here and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at NewthEasy. That's at ETHNewsSci.